Welcome guys to your gaming techies VR show, a show where we look at PC VR, PSVR, and mobile VR so you guys don't have to waste your time and money. And today we're looking at a game on the Oculus Quest called Premium Bowling. Now I'm excited for this one because I'm a really big bowling fan and even though we have sports scramble on the Oculus Quest, that was more of a fun take on bowling, not a realistic take on bowling. And this is all about the realistic vibe of bowling. Being in an actual bowling environment, the ball rolling realistically uh, down the lane, the physics being perfect. Uh, that's what this game is aiming for, the realistic version for all the pro players of bowling who want to play this in VR. And I'm excited for this one and I wanted to take a look at this as soon as this immediately came out. So let's go ahead and do it together. Let's see how it is. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a recce is the gaming tech, gaming techie is the gaming tech, gaming techie. Alright guys, here we are with premium bowling on the Oculus Quest here. Um, so I've been waiting for a, a, a dedicated bowling game on the Oculus Quest for a while here. Because um, the only one we have is Sports Scramble, and that's more of like not going for the realism part of bowling. So this is obviously what this is going for. So I'm excited to check this one out. And this one has online multiplayer as well uh, with up to four people. So let's do a couple of, uh, let's look through the settings here, see if there's anything we have to change. We've got avatars, show pattern, strikes effect, chat is on, speed, it's aliasing, custom, okay. Uh, is that the only settings there is? Uh, game info. Yeah, it looks like that's all there is. All right, oh, that's fine. Uh, I hit local play. So we got a couple of different areas we can do. We can do retro lanes, paradise island, luxury uh, strikes, disco arena, mountain retreat. So uh, we're gonna do retro lanes here. Uh, new series, so it looks like you can do different oils that you can change. So that's interesting. All right, so we'll leave it as is there. All right, here we go. Graphics look good in here. As you can tell with the bowling alley and stuff, uh, everything looks really good. I definitely feel like I'm in a bowling alley. Uh, graphics look really good in here. Let's see how that took a little bit of a curve into the center. Uh, sometimes it's like this. Pins, two, and five to convert. Oh, I threw that too close to the edge. I hope the next throw goes better. Dusting it off now, and now it's the time to go for a pickup. There we go. Spare. Hmm, just missed. Continuing on, trying to smack down pins one, two, and seven. Ah, oh, just missed the curve. Really? Takes some getting used to Came for sure. Down to this. Whew, smelly. But it's Leave. fun and it feels realistic it though. Deck. Just missed that front pin again. How did that happen? I keep missing that front pin and knock down the ones behind it. It's hard. Getting ready for a spare attempt. That ended up in the gutter. Oh, man. That was my best throw yet. That left something to be desired. The seventh pin to convert. Mm, I'll take that, though. Yummy. Cleaned up on that one. Continuing on, trying to smack down Smelly. Leave. Bad luck. Oh. That left room for improvement. The tenth pin must be dealt with now. Damn it. Ah. 
This calls for concentration. Horrible leave is looming at the other end of the lane. Just incredible. Oh, that wasn't that great. 89 is about as bad as it gets. All right, so let's play one more uh, just to show you guys here a different version uh, of this is the disco arena. At least you guys get to see two different places. Um, so let's take a look here. Oh, starting with the with strike. strike. There you go. These Last fancy replays where you get to see them up close is really nice. You see exactly how everything hit. Which is really cool. The physics seem to be really, really good here as far as what pins should knock down when you actually want to knock pins down. Oof. Moving on. Sixer waiting at the deck. Gorgeous. Take that Clear. nice little that curve one. there at the end to keep that in the lane. was less than perfect. Yeah, okay, over. I'm not gonna lie. There's some cleaning up to do. All right, that one wasn't too great. Let's see if we can get back on track. There we go. Ooh, that's gonna suck. Sometimes it's like this. Almost Only seven times. shot split. can clean Almost. up pins six and seven. This ain't gonna happen. Might as well just get the one. How did that happen? Oh, just missed that one. That seemed to lack some pin action. Picking up pin three. What a clear that one. Take it. Yeah, we can't finish this game off with you guys seeing me get a score of an 89. Oh, come on now. That was bad. Let's see how the second throw goes. Wow. <laughs> that was weird. Still missed the one in the back, though. Attempt to fix it now. Pins one, two, and seven to clean up. Oh, God damn it. Mm. I started off so well with that spare and strike. And there we go. A strike. There we go. Cranking the engine now. That's it would be crazy to see a double. Oh man, I shot that. I knew it as soon as I threw it. As you can see, it's not easy trying to convert dreaded leave. Wasn't that great either. Darn! Let's see how we can finish the 10th frame off. There we go! Great Trying way to start to the 10th frame. From last frame, here's a serious attempt for a Barney Rose. Just made that. Thanks for that pin hopping off the wall and knocking like five of them over. Oh, just missed. No way. There's something to learn from that. Rolling with pins one, three, and eight. All right, I missed all mine. All right, so not that great, but it's cool because it gives you a personal best. Uh, it also, uh, there's a weekly rotation of leaderboards, so you have like an intention to keep playing, and it ranks people based on, uh, you know, VR tops is what you obviously want to take a look at. Not like, because this game obviously is also exists on PC, and they obviously probably could do better with a mouse, and you probably couldn't VR most of the time. Um, so this, um, you know, has the stats uh, telling you, you know, your best ever, your average series. Uh, you know your global ranking stuff like that so it gives you an incentive to keep going so that gives you a little bit of an overview of what this game is like like i said it also has online multiplayer as well um 
and I'm going to play a couple of matches online, and then we'll get back to the table, and we'll talk about it and see what I think. All right, guys, so that was a premium bowling on the Oculus Quest. Now, as you can tell, it's a really realistic game of bowling. Now, obviously, there's another game on the Oculus Quest that came out when the Oculus Quest first released called Sports Grandma, which basically had bowling in it. And I still think that's a great game, too. But that's more of a, um, you know, what I would say a fun variation of bowling where it has like you can play it in two modes. You can play that game in either regular uh, bowling um, where you're just, you know, throwing a ball like you would in this game and there's no extra stuff going on. And then you can also play it where you know, the bowling ball turns into weird objects and the floor turns uh, into weird things. So that's a more hectic game of bowling, but you could play it standard, but it's still not a realistic game of bowling. This is going for full out realism. The way the ball handles, the way you throw the ball, the way the pins knock down, the physics in the game work, uh, you know, how the bowling alley looks, everything is going very realistic. I'm in a bowling alley and I'm trying to play against people and, and get the highest score possible. And I think they succeeded at creating the best realistic bowling game on the Oculus Quest and probably... Uh, in VR that I played in, uh, in any game I played anyway. And um, the 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 uh, pins all fell down realistically when I throw the ball at it. And I like that close-up that it has when you actually, you know, get a strike or something like that or a spare. I really like the way that that close-up happens um, and shows you the pins knocking down and all of it, how it, the physics are interplaying with it. Um, the way the ball feels uh, when you, you know, throw it on the floor and stuff. The amount of options you have in the game where you can even change the oil uh, that's on the actual lane, uh, depending on how the ball rolls. Um, that works really well. Um, you obviously have local, uh, you could do it in local multiplayer where you can play, you know, uh, locally for uh, bowling against your friends, or you can also go online with up to four people. The only negative thing I have to say about this game right now is that there's no voice chat. So that, that better be something that they're adding. Cause I don't want to be sitting there. This game obviously is like bowling. You can play one, uh, two to four people online uh, and it works well when it works, but the problem is, is that you get in there and you're playing, let's say you have a full lobby of four people. So you're rotating, obviously, like you would in bowling. One person goes and the next three people are sitting out and then the next person goes. And it has a good time limit, 10 seconds, you have to do it on every turn. So you're not waiting around a lot, but you can talk to people. So if you have four people in there and the first person bowls and you're the fourth person in line, obviously, you're waiting a whole, at, you're waiting at least 60 seconds because it's, you're waiting a possible 60 seconds, not at least, but if they take the full 10 seconds per one, per uh, throw that they do and they all get two throws each, you're waiting a total of 60 seconds for it to be your turn in utter silence. This would be no big deal at all if you're playing you know, with these people and you can voice chat because that's exactly what I like about bowling. You go in there, you know, you're know, you talking to your friends, you're having a good time talking about things, and then it's your turn to bowl and you go. And that's the experience that they're trying to capture, and that's fantastic, but voice chat needs to be added to this thing immediately. Like... I don't want to be sitting 60 seconds in a lobby every single time I go and be in utter silence. It's ridiculous how they just went over that. And I think they said that they are looking into adding it, but I don't know how this wasn't in there in day one and felt that the lobby system like, like that works well. But anyway, um, that's my only negative on the game. The gameplay is great. The graphics are fantastic on the Oculus Quest. The physics are great. The way, the, the way we throw the ball, everything, all of that feels great. And um, there's not really anything missing. I think they did a fantastic job with everything else. Add voice chat. In my opinion, this would be a perfect bowling game. Uh, hopefully they add that relatively quickly. I don't want to see the multiplayer, you know, base die. Because it will die if you don't have people, you know, letting people actually voice chat. Because you're not going to have people want to go in there for, and wait 60 seconds on a turn with a full lobby in there doing absolutely nothing. So um, voice chat will go a long way in this game. So hopefully that gets added quickly. But... That is all I have to say about the game, guys. Definitely recommend you guys get it if you guys are fans of bowling game with that caveat that you guys should know about for the time being that hopefully should be rectified in the future. If you guys have any questions about anything you guys have seen here today, as always, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time. Gaming tech, gaming tech, is the gaming tech, gaming techie, gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming tech is the gaming